Hello and welcome. My name is Gerd and I'm going to present the new CI Hub Connector Pro for Microsoft PowerPoint. This is an in-depth session and that's why the video contains some chapters. So feel free to use the markers to skip what you may already know if you're a CI Hub user. And I would also like to recommend the PDF available on our website. You can find the link in the description below. So let's jump right in. Most of the time is wasted on outdated asset consumption. Hide PowerPoint, go to the dam, log in, search, find, select, download, organize locally, back to PowerPoint and import the image. So with a CI Hub connector, you can take a new approach to asset consumption. You stay in your application, use multiple systems simultaneously, and focus on your presentation, not on managing files. And all the features you already know from your systems are available in the CI Hub app. For example, full text search, filter options, previews, metadata and much more. CI Hub also offers context sensitive placement of content. Simply via drag and drop. Even the hidden DAM features, in example, placing low-res images, is available via CI Hub. This speeds up the flow of your presentation and minimizes the file size. You can now even place the cover page of a Word document as an image in your presentation. Placing images stored in your source system works via drag and drop or with a right-click for selecting placement options. Let's take a closer look at CI Hub's Smart Linking. Smart Linking gives you an overview of all images and graphics in your document. And you get a complete control regarding versions, availability and updates. Now this graphic illustrates an overview of the functions available in the Smart Linking tab. Now let's see how that works out. You can see here the overview of all placed images and graphics. I've just checked 15 elements and now I get updated information from the system where the assets are stored. The tooltip shows that a newer version is available in the source system. The detail view contains previews of these versions and the usage link takes me to where the asset is located in the document. Here we see a native Illustrator file placed as a PNG using CI Hub. Now I'm going to replace the older version with the latest version. And to do so, I'm just clicking the relink icon, select the rendition for the PNG, and that's it. And as you can see, all instances of this file in the document are updated with only one click of a button. Now this image was placed as low res file and also needs to be updated. And as you can see there are already four versions available. I can view the timestamps and update the image. I can also do the relinking via the bulk operation and to do so I use the relink button in the top row. So there is another item with a little warning symbol, which is this one here. Let's have a look where it's placed. Okay, this is the title of a Word document, which has been placed as an image. And the Word document has been updated, so it has a newer version. I, I can do the same with the cover of this Word document. Another feature is moving images from one system to another. As you can see, this image has been placed from Unsplash directly. And if I want to move it to my source system, which could be a DAM or a cloud storage, I just select the target folder in the DAM, click the Add File button, and I'm going to move this image from Unsplash directly into my uh, cloud storage or dam system. 
So that's quite easy, isn't it? So at the end, I did all this directly within PowerPoint. No window hopping, no downloading. This is really a new way to use assets. But what about PowerPoint components? I will demonstrate how to use a DAM or a cloud storage system as a repository for decks, slides and master files with CI Hub. Saving decks to any DAM or cloud storage system works via the Add File button. And you can also rename the file beforehand. You want to import slides to an existing PowerPoint file. So this is how it goes. Just select the file in the CI Hub panel, click Slide Import, and we're done. So let's add some other slides to my PowerPoint presentation. And if more than one slide is included in the selected import file, CI Hub will add all available slides to the active deck. And what about themes? Yes, you can search for select and apply themes to your existing PowerPoint document via CI Hub connector. So I've prepared an empty document. Just select one of the files, say apply theme. And here we go. So you can use your DAM or cloud storage as a repository for themes. So adapting the design for existing PowerPoint files has never been easier. And the same goes for master slides. With CI Hub you can replace or merge them in your presentation with the selected ones. In my case I'm gonna merge a master slide which only contains the logo with the currently opened one. And as you can see, it works perfect. So let's have a closer look to the replace and replace all feature. Here I'm going to replace the image with a selected one. And let's jump to the title and do the same again. So we have replaced the images and they're both the same. So the replace all feature searches for all instances in the whole document and replace them with a selected one. Now let's have a closer look at the metadata features within CI Hub. You can use all kinds of metadata like IPTC, EXIF or XMP. Since the CI Hub connector is built dynamically, you can also use multilingual customized metadata, just via drag and drop. The CI Hub add-in is also out of the box, connected to stock providers like Getty Images, iStock, Adobe Stock, Shutterstock, Unsplash and many more. With the fully integrated similarity search, you can select images in your PowerPoint file and search for similar images within all stock providers. The CI Hub connector works with all relevant file types and is therefore the Swiss Army knife when it comes to easily create, manage and modify presentations. And you're always on the safe side to use only CI compliant and approved materials. So check out the CI Hub Connector Pro for PowerPoint and be one of those who prefer a new way of working. Get your 30 day free trial for Windows at cihub.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.